let us start with the new topic of bone so whenever you hear a word bone what all things comes to your mind the first thing that strikes your mind is bone is a type of connective tissue so bone is a connective tissue right bone is also the store for calcium and phosphorus in bone 97% of whole body calcium and phosphorus is stored so it is the bone is a store of 97% of calcium and phosphorus of the body okay then the next thought comes to your mind is functions of bone so bone provides shape to the body it provides shape to the body also while providing shape to the body it also provides support and weight bearing mechanism of the body so it also provides support support and it also is the weight bearing system of the body okay whenever you think of bone such as bones such as or uh, taking as a group of bones such as you take pelvis you take rib cage you take skull all these pro provides protection to the major organs right it provides the protection to the major organs like in skull it provides protection to brain the rib cage provide protection to lungs hearts the important organs so it also have it also provides the protection protection to vital organs right the red bone marrow present in the bones is the factory for producing red blood cells so red bone marrow produces red blood cells also the reticulo endothelium telial system present bone it helps in the immune response to retic endo endothelial endothelial reticulo retic i'm so sorry it's reticulo endothelial system right reticulo endothelial system it helps in the immune response it helps in the in the response of the body right and we have seen with the stores of calcium and phosphorus 97% of whole body calcium and phosphorus is stored in the bone okay so these are all all thoughts that comes to your mind when you hear of bone now let us move towards the constituents of bone okay so bone has three constituents the first of all is it has three constituents okay let us write it down it has three constituents and what are all those three constituents the first one is the organic constituent the first one is the organic constituent the other name for organic constituent is matrix or you can even call it as osteoid osteoid okay the next constituent of bone is water right and the third constituent of bone is inorganic component or you call it as minerals right let us move towards the for first organic first com uh, co component that is organic organic or matrix or osteoids right it constitute about 30 to 35% of dry weight of bone it constitute about 30 to 35% of dry weight of bone and what are the constituents of osteoids those are two the first one is the proteins 
and the second is cells. Okay, so what are the proteins present in the bone? We'll write it down in blue. The first major protein which is present in bone is collagen 1. Okay, collagen 1. Then there are three types of non-collagenous proteins present in bone. The first one is osteocalcin. Right? The second is osteopectin. And the third is osteonectin. So all these are the non-collagenous proteins present in bone. Okay, so let us see an extra point and then we will move towards the cell. So the collagen 1 is present in bone and meniscus. Okay, this is C1 for collagen 1. It is present in bone and meniscus. Whereas the collagen 2, the collagen 2 is present in articular cartilage or hyaline cartilage. Okay, so articular cartilage or the hyaline cartilage okay these are in context of bones only okay it is not in context of or you can say these are in the context of skeletal system i am not talking about the whole body only skeletal system so collagen 1 is present in bones and meniscus and collagen 2 is present in articular cartilage okay now let us move towards the cell this cell okay one more point the protein constitutes about 90 to 95% of whole matrix. Like taking a matrix as whole itself as 100%. So 90 to 95% of matrix is made up of protein. And only 5% is made up of cells. Okay. So what are the types of cells present in the matrix? Three types. Okay. So the first one is osteoblast right the first one is osteoblast then is osteocytes and the third type of cell present in the bone is osteoclast osteoclast 